what's going on guys welcome to my channel i'll be showing you how to make this simple error okay i don't know how long i have been inactive i believe it's one week so yeah i'll show you something simple like this, okay so i'm gonna show you how to make this error okay so let's begin i'm gonna hide this press h to hide press 7 shift a to add plane uses some usually you can use a plane but how i made this i actually use just the uh, oh not that one i just use the default cube okay and there we go that's the cube now i'm gonna press one all right that's fine front view okay now oh yeah actually don't okay now let's mirror this but actually you don't need to mirror this if you want to mirror it completely up to you okay if you want to advance mirror it okay so you select this cube edit mode i'm gonna go to space select and i want this to be moved precisely so in order for it to move precisely i will enable this snap tool okay so i'm gonna go still in face select and select the top face here press 7 go back to the top photographic and wrap that to the to the y g y oops close that i should select this one all right there we go oh oh look at this i think i've doubled it all right now i'm gonna grab that to the y what is that actually my mistake <laughs> all right press one i think that's long enough okay now i'm gonna press e to do this it okay something like that all right now i'm gonna add a loop cut control r to add the loop cut here this is gonna be the point here okay over here so I'm gonna press one. I'm gonna make this point. Actually, I'm not gonna make it point. So I'm just gonna extrude this one, okay? This and this. This is the reason why you can use the mirror, okay? If you're using the mirror, you don't have to select both of them. Okay, you just select one. Okay, now I'm gonna right click and extrude face along normal. Right there. How big it is up to you there we go press one let me see that i believe that's quite too uh well too thick so i'm gonna go to here select this face there press one I'm gonna press g to the z okay i want to make this even okay so there it is it's even now and now it's not error yet it's just a big t okay so how to make that arrow i'm gonna go to edge select go to here gg to there this one gg to there and this one gg to there and this one gg to there and let me see look at that we got an error okay now before we uh, do something, we need to apply Control A, oh, select, select all, Control A, no, no, ah, all right, all oh, right, 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 sorry, sorry. Make sure and select all, edit mode, and press M, and merge them all by distance. Why I do that? I'll show you this one, okay? You see that you have eight vertices because you use the the GG before, okay? So, I'm gonna press this one now, edit select, or you can press two. This one, I can grab this one now, it just depends on my liking. Okay, how big it is, up to you. And I think that would do, okay. Now, I'm gonna keep this very simple and low poly. It, what I'm saying is, I'm just gonna keep it like this. So, we don't need this one. This, oh, let me see, select anything here. 
I don't need this one, this, 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 and this, okay? Because we don't need those anymore. So I'm just press Control X. There we go. Control X does everything. Look at that. We got an arrow. Let me see if, if we have doubles again. Okay, we have no doubles, so that's good. Okay, so here we go. Let's paint shading. What paint color it is, it's up to you. Let me just go with something very basic. Black, not metal, but I need the speckler. I don't need the speckler actually. Just go like that. I need the speckler a little bit. So it looks like a more like 3D. Look here. All right, there it is. Now, if you want to make a thin scale with the Y, and if you want to scale to the X as well, also fine. Press one. There you go, guys. That's how I make the arrow. Okay, some might say making arrow is actually easy. Well, everybody has different level. So yeah, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Try it yourself making this simple arrow and have your blender. Okay, now I'll see you next time.